So I'm currently studying our loft dormer conversion and it basically looks like a box that's plonked on top of a bungalow and it's also the reason why we're able to buy this house at an affordable price. But we just assumed that we'd have to spend 20 or 30 grand on having it put on the back. But a neighbour recommended painting the, um, the tiles and having the double glazing uh, changes. That's what we did and it saved us a lot of money. So we had the windows done in the summer and it's been a sun trap of a room without any blinds. So today I'm going to show you how to install some perfect fit blinds and I think it's one of the greatest inventions ever. So keep on watching if you want to see how I do them easily. So during this week's video, I'm going to be reviewing blinds from my favourite blind company, Direct Blinds. The reason they're my favourite is that I've always found them the cheapest. In fact, if I take you back to my sloping blinds video, I saved well over a grand by buying them and altering them myself. And I'd had my heart set on perfect fit blinds because I'd seen them for the first time a few years ago in my brother-in-law's bathroom. And we both loved how they looked integrated and they just clipped to the window frame, providing your window has a trim like this. But if you've just got a rubber seal like this one from one of our downstairs windows, it won't work. And with this being brand new double glazing, I didn't fancy screwing into the plastic and these ones just clip into the window frame. So they sell them in a few different types. You've got a pleat, a roller blind, a blackout roller blind, but I decided to pick some Venetian ones. And that's because with it being on the front of the house, if I wanted to open my blind, I could angle them. But with a roller blind, if we opened it partially, people can just look straight in. I know, I'm in the dark. So for the measurements, always follow the company's methods, but I measured the width of the exposed glass and took three measurements of the top, middle and bottom. And I only passed on that smallest measurement to direct blinds. And then I needed the drop measurement. And because they are a perfect fit, I had to do that for all sections of each window. And something that I highly recommend is don't just take one lot of measurements. I actually measured mine three times just to be safe. Now you're going to need to find the measurement for the depth of the inside trim. And this is important to find out the measurements for the clips that you need to order. The other tip that I recommend is to keep those measurements. It made life so much easier for when everything arrived. And just like the other two times we've ordered from Direct Blinds, everything comes well packed. Now there was one problem that I did face is that I couldn't find instructions in the box anywhere. And I'm just gonna fast forward for a second to say that I did find them on my very last pack of blinds, but they're so straightforward to fit and never really had any issues. So because all of the blinds have the measurements attached to them, I took a time out to make life easier by numbering all of the blinds that correlated to each window on my drawing. So I'm now starting with number one, and this is one of the small sections of windows. And these Venetian blinds come partly built, but because I need to make them much bigger, I need to add the sides to them. So I recommend laying everything out on a flat, clean surface and also make sure the good side is facing down. So the first thing I'm doing is slotting the side pieces to the top and the bottom. Then before we screw anything together, it also comes with four corner covers and these just clip into place. And then the only tool that I'll need for this job is a handheld screwdriver. So I'm just tightening up these screws to lock it into place. And now we're gonna fix the corner covers and they just fix in with one screw each. And that is it to the frame. It takes about five minutes. Now, just to show you how these work, this is the clip and there's some oblong holes in the sides of the frames. So you need to line those up together for it to clip into place. And I know there's a lot of videos out there that suggest using a credit card to line it up, but I actually found it so much easier making some pencil markings where the oblong was. And that oblong hole is much bigger than the clip and it gives you a bit more wiggle room. And now it's time to fit the clips in. But this is where I did find it a slight struggle. So I made sure all the brackets were lubricated with some hand wash and I'm just teasing it into place. So now it's time to attach the frame onto the clips and I just gently line them up and press them until it clicked. And it's a great feeling when you've done measurements and they fit. It worked, I think it worked. That's awesome. And now for the very last job, because it's a Venetian blind, is to attach the handle that you twist to open and close them. And it just hooks on, and it's got a safety hook there as well for the times when you open your blinds and the drawstring is dangling. So once I'd worked that one out, 
I just raced through them and each one took about 10 minutes in total. And I loved how I didn't have to drill into any of my new framework. And if I wanted to take them down, it was just as easy as unclipping them and removing the clips from the frame. So if you've got any questions about them, feel free to comment below and I'll do my best to answer. And uh, yeah, I'm very happy. Here's something else that I really like and I didn't even think about. It's so easy to open without these being in the way. Nice.